anytime you know they're stacking too far, you will almost always get positive yards out of this. Um, there's only been a couple times where I've gotten negative yards out of it, but uh, nine times out of ten, though, it's always, always, always going to be a positive play. So I'm going to show you that one more time. See there, there it does get hit in the backfield, but not a big deal, as you can tell. I've ran it about four or five times, and I've gotten, I've gotten pretty good yards um, every single time. Now then, the one-two punch to throw in with that is going to be the uh, is going to be the halfback dive. Reason I say that is you can easily audible to it out of the uh, counter. So if you see them spreading their line like they are here, um, just audible down to it and start hitting them with the uh, halfback dive up the middle. You know, kind of make them kind of make them pick and choose what they want to uh, what they want to defend. The counter run, I'll go up the middle if they want to defend. And just remember, you know, wherever you see the biggest hole on the halfback dive or the biggest shift in the line, that's where you want to run it to. So there I ran it, you know, kind of the left side, but the halfback dive is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, now let's get into the passing plays. First play I'm going to run is the PA boot. It's just like out of the uh, pistol bunch tight end. Play looks like this. What I'm going to do is take my Y tight end, put him on a flat, take my A tight end, put him on a fade. My main routes are going to be B, Y, and X. So here, as you can see, they're running a man-to-man -man sty style defense. So what do I do? I just throw it out to my B wide receiver. I have plenty of options on this that I can run. Um, here I'm just going to, you know, just be patient, wait for my reads to develop, and let my blocking, you know, take its course that way I can make those appropriate reads without throwing a really bad pass there as you can see I get sacked I did read that late but you know sometimes a sack is better than an interception so here I notice that you got one guy kind of playing two that's a wishy-washy style if you will um, that happens sometimes but nine times out of ten though you will get almost you will get a guy open almost nine times out of ten so then let me go on to my next uh, my next pass play out of this is gonna be the smash play out of it against a random play all I'm gonna do is take my X wide receiver slant him take my a wide receiver slant him so you got that kind of that rub formation going on I'm gonna take my Y wide or my Y tight end flat route him my main reads are gonna be B X and A on this one um, kind of figure out where they're running, where they're running, you know, there, I should have checked it off to my egg, my a wide receiver. That's just my fault. there, uh, making a bad read. Sometimes that does happen. You know, we all get in, in a hurry and we make a bad read there. That's what I'm talking about there. Your B wide receiver. He's good. He's able to make that play and, uh, you know, get out of bounds. So it's, it's got big play potential almost every time you run this. Um, next play I'm going to be showing you is the curl flat against a random play. Play looks like this. All I'm going to do is take my B wide receiver, slant him so it looks like this. Um, you're going to have that little rub, rub there. My main target here, though, is going to be Y underneath. As you can see, if you pass lead down, it's going to get by the linebacker as all he does is is just throw his hands up and can't help but just watch the ball go by him. I mean, you have to be a little bit patient so you don't run into that other wide receiver there. Um, if not, it's going to get knocked down. So let me show you this one last time here. And that way, you know, you kind of make the appropriate reads. They're man-to-man. -man, that's an iffy play, but I still seem to fit it in there anyway. You know, if you need a quick five, six yards, that's going to get you that uh, – that play to kind of loosen up the defense and make them play, you know, to your hand. Um, next one I want to show you is a PA counter waggle. Really good play. Um, I call this my cheese play because everybody runs a PA end around. So I'm just going to run it out of the PA counter waggle. Only thing here, though, is I'm going to take my A wide receiver and put him, you know, kind of on a zig route. And then I'm just going to make my high low reads X, B, Y, A. And then, you know, it, it makes it deadly. Because nobody knows what and where, you know, if and when 
uh, you're going to be running this play. So it's kind of like they have to defend everything um, all at once out of this formation, which makes it hard to do because you give up so much uh, sacrifice on defense, you know, trying to defend everything here. So, again, with that play, roll out of the pocket, make your reads. If you see nothing, take off with it. That's what that play is designed um, to do. Next one's going to be the uh, PAFL stretch against a random play. Here, though, I'm going to take my A wide receiver and just slant him so it looks like this. You've got your high-low reads here again. You want to uh, make it, you know, the B wide receiver on that long uh post route over the middle, and then you want to look for your tight ends, your Y and your A uh, tight ends. As soon as you see it come open, which your tight end should almost always be open, they'll get you underneath for, you know, a short to intermediate gain. Um, if you see him out of position, your B wide receiver can always go deep. Pass lead him up if you see no safety help like I did there, and you're going to pretty much have a foot race every single time. If not... Um, you will end up beating them deep. Next play I'm going to be showing you is a slip screen, which I'm going to show that one time because you guys already know how to run the slip screen. Um, only thing I'm going to show here is the Y tight end. I'm just going to put him on a little drag route and then just make my reads. If I see my running back here, if he gets open and doesn't make a play like that, he's got plenty of blockers out in front. Same thing with a Y wide, y wide receiver. If uh, if the running back's taken, go ahead and hit your Y tight end. It makes it kind of hard to defend both of them you know, at the same time. And that's what also makes this a deadly formation because you don't know who to guard. Um, next one's going to be Vert's Mesh against a random play. You're going to take your A wide receiver and you're going to slant him. Take your B wide receiver and slant him. Here's what I like about this. B and A are going to create a little rub for that Y wide receiver. He's going to get open almost every single time because of that rub. If not, you've got the uh, you've got that B wide receiver coming underneath as well, and it creates a lot of confusion there for the uh, defense as far as who to guard. You know, also on the uh, on the uh, user side as well, um, who they want to guard there. I see nobody open, so I just take off with it. Sometimes that'll happen, but if you need to scramble, hey, you live to play another down there. Um, and you, like I said, you also keep the defense honest on that one. I'm going to be showing you one last play out of it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the uh, ace-twin scheme so far. Hopefully you guys go out and dominate with it. Next one's going to be the double post. Um, play looks like this. All I want to do... Again, with the slants, slant my A wide receiver. My reads are going to be B on his little funky route, and then A, and then Y. So let me drop back and show you this here. There I see nobody open, or I don't see my main target open, so I throw it to my Y, my y tight end. So here, I'm just going to run it again. There I ended up getting sacked, and apparently it was a sack fumble. So let me show you this one last time here. Hit the... Uh, be wide receiver there. Make sure, though, on this play, you wait for the other receivers to make their crosses. If not, uh, when throwing this route, it'll get interfered with, and, you know, the ball will get knocked down by your own player. I'm Arlick. Like, comment, and subscribe. And for more of my videos and some of the best hints on the Internet, go to themaddenu.com.